All right. Oh yeah. Nice job. I'm a professional. You're a professional. Hey guys, Yankee Prepper. <laughs> Pay attention. Today, yet again, I am going to share with you another gem recipe. This one's from my wife's side of the family again, and you're going to want to share this with everybody you know. You're going to want to record this video. You're going to want to write this down. In fact, you're going to want to keep this the rest of your life. It's that good. And if you don't share this with your family, if you don't share this with your friends, then you're just a crappy person. It's that good. I'm going to share with you a recipe for homemade hot fudge. Homemade hot fudge, man. Before I do that, though, I wanted to show off all the black raspberry jelly my wife and I made yesterday. We took all the leftover berries out of the freezer from last year that she picked. She picked, because I just eat them, and we made uh, jelly out of it. Homemade black raspberry jelly, man. That's such a fun deal to do together, and the payoff's huge. That's prepping right there. Okay, on with the vid. Today I'm going to show you how to make homemade hot fudge. Guys, this is nothing like the crap that you buy off the shelf at the grocery store. Nothing. Totally different experience. Don't cheat yourself out of this. Just try it once. Let's start with the ingredients list. You're going to need some natural cocoa, unsweetened, one cup. You're going to need two cups of brown sugar. You're going to need two cups of uh, sorghum or molasses. Not blackstrap molasses. You don't want to do that. You want to use regular molasses. Uh, you want to use one cup of evaporated milk, six tablespoons of butter, one teaspoon of salt, and you're going to need a couple teaspoons of uh, vanilla as well. That's your ingredients list. Okay, i got to make you aware of a couple substitutions that you can use in case you don't have these ingredients around the house. If you don't have brown sugar, you can use white sugar. It's actually going to give it a cleaner taste. I just like the homemade taste that brown sugar lends to. And uh, you can use corn syrup instead of sorghum or molasses. Okay, I just again, I just like the homemade taste of uh, these ingredients, and this is the original recipe. I know a lot of people don't have molasses or sorghum, you know, just sitting around the house. Uh, you know, my family, my wife and I, we take uh, vacations to go down south at least once or twice a year. We got some family down there. My wife is originally from the south. Um, so we'll pick up sorghum and molasses at uh, roadside stands uh, when we're down there and bring it back. You know, a lot of Yankees like to go down south once or twice a year. For us, it's like kind of reviewing conquered territory. You know, it's like visiting areas that uh, we've taken over and we want to see, you know, how's it going down there. And I like to lend to uh, the whole reconstruction process by purchasing from, you know, the locals and natives down there. That's why I do it. All right, I'm going to read off the directions for you, and then I'm actually going to do it and show you the product in the end. Uh, the only thing I'm going to try different today is I'm actually going to try to preserve this or can it. And then uh, I'll let you know how that works out later on if it, if it lasts that long. But uh, I'm going to try that today. I, I know they can this stuff at the store, and uh, I want to see if I can do it using these natural ingredients and how long it will last. The, the directions on this are really easy. You combine all the ingredients except the vanilla. Okay, in a saucepan. You cook it over medium heat. You stir constantly until the mixture becomes a full rolling boil. Boil briskly for three minutes, stirring occasionally. Remove from heat and then add the vanilla. Cool slightly and pour a few tablespoons over your ice cream or dessert or wherever you want. Uh, this stores great in the refrigerator. And when my wife usually does it, she'll make a double batch. Uh, and then it can reheat really easy. But here's the key. Don't reheat the whole portion because every time you heat it up it gets thicker so when you if you have leftovers put them in the fridge uh, and then when you go to you know to reheat it just take out what you need and reheat that I'll put in my liquids first evaporated milk cocoa brown sugar my molasses butter, salt. Come here. All right, there we go. Stir that all up. I'm going to 
to bring that to a uh, rolling boil. Pretty easy. Even I can do it. You know, I thought I'd give these guys a shout out just in case you cannot get molasses in your area or you want to give these guys a try. But it's Smoky Mountain Molasses. Made at Smoky Mountain Honey House, Asheville, North Carolina. Phone number is 828-232-0871. And uh, this is good stuff and it's a real fair price. I can usually pick up a, a quart of it for five bucks. Okay, there's our full rolling boil. We gotta keep it here, keep stirring for about three minutes. This can also be used in the SHTF W R O L as a tactical force multiplier. If you throw this on somebody's face, it's over with. Okay? It's over with. It's like napalm. Okay, three minutes. Take it off the heat. Two teaspoons of vanilla. That's it. That's how quick it is. We've got to let this cool off, of course. And it will thicken up. And like I said, I've never done this before, but I'm going to try to uh, preserve this. Make it up ahead of time and preserve it. So I've got some sterilized jars here, and while it's still hot, I'm going to pack four or five. And I'll let you know how that turns out. These are the kind of gifts that my wife and I have really gotten into giving over the past, I'd say, eight or nine years. And I think it's, uh, I like to think it's more of a prepper thing. You know, we make homemade stuff. I mean, we give coffee away and jellies and just homemade food in general or preserved foods. And uh, everybody just seems to love it. And uh, it, I think it means more because it's more of a personal gift. But usually it's really good. And uh, I think that counts for something too. I mean, I... If this works, if I can preserve hot fudge, I think this will make a really good gift. I'm going to water bath these for about 10 minutes now. So the, I think the hardest part about this is, is going to be trying to keep this around long enough to actually make it a test. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that with uh, three kids in the house and me. Uh, but I'm going to try. We'll see how that turns out. And after a while, you can see how this starts to set up. starts to turn into fudge. It's still warm, but it's cooling off. And it gets thick. Mmm. Mmm. But it is best warm. Mmm. That real chocolate, that is unbelievable. I'm telling you, you got to try this. Try this just once. Mmm. That is unreal. That's unreal. In fact, if you and your spouse get together and eat this while the kids are at school, this could possibly lead to reproductive acts that you've only dreamt of or seen in really bad books. This is, this is just delicious. It's so chocolatey powerful. Mmm, 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 mmm. All right, so stay tuned next week because I'm going to show you how to make ice cream in the SHTF. All right, it's going to be one of my best vids yet, and then you'll have something to put this on top of. In case the WROL or SHTF happens, you will have the best dessert ever.